Hey, sneaky links back tonight. Tonight we've got an EcoPup 732 Beta. Now, normally I've shied away from doing EcoPup because it's such a large download. It's a whole CD, we're looking at 700 megs here. But hey, I thought I'd download a new one and see what we got. Now, I've had to do this from the live CD, as when you install it, it doesn't do what I want it to do. Uh, mainly, it won't connect to the net, even via the Ethernet. So, bit of a bummer, but hey, we'll go through with it anyway. <coughs> As you can see, usual puppy stuff, basically. Different background, different way of doing things. Basically because it's based on an earlier pup. I think it's based on the 2 Series. I did ask for some more information from the guy who actually makes it. But I didn't get anything back from him, so hey. Couldn't use it, could I, really? What do you think about it? No. Anyway, play there, Do Numeric, Abbey Word, from Love CD. Bear in mind it's got Open Office on the CD as well as an FSF file. So, you know, should be okay once installed correctly. <coughs> so what I'm going to do once we've got round all this... <coughs> Excuse me, a bit of a cough. I'm going to actually install it and show you how to install it, and you'll see what I mean once we've installed and the problems I've come up with. But bear in mind it's only a beta, it's not too bad. Now, if it's got open office and everything, it's cool, really good, it's got everything you want. But do you really need it? Now, he's been running this system for a good few years now, the EcoPup series, I'm going to call it, and it's reasonably good. Now, I've opened up the web browser, now it's CMonkey, but an earlier version, as you can see. Now this takes us to the Puppy Linux 2.15 Community Edition Viz Seamonkey Place, as you can see. That shows you can have Firefox, Opera, Seamonkey, etc, etc. But I feel this is a really early, early page. Really, really needs to be updated, really, more than anything else. Now if I click on, say, the wiki. There we go, we clicked. It's not there. Blah, blah, blah. Also, with this version of Seamonkey, you don't get a new tab. It opens a new window, as you can see from down the bottom. So we have to go back down over here and close the bloody thing down. A bit of a pain, but hey, not too bad, I suppose. So we'll go to the intro. Ah, that's nice. Now the intro is basically a slideshow. Authored by Lobster. Anybody knows Puppy knows Lobster. He's alright. Bit of a geezer. You know, from up north, I think, isn't he? I can't remember now. Anyway, you can just go through the old uh, slideshow. It tells you all about it. People use Puppy, etc, etc, etc. Really nice. This is really quite old stuff. So anyway, we'll go to the next videos. Now the videos go takes you to the original puppy page, really, what it used to be. Hosted there by Rhino. And now, there's wink videos here now. It's, well, it's always been wink videos, to be really honest with you. There's no real videos as such. <coughs> but back in the day when they was doing them, it's probably an easy way to do a video to show you how to do stuff. But now stuff's come up a bit different. And as you can see, in Australia at this time, it's 0 degrees. It's bloody boiling here. Where's my fan? Anyway, we'll close that page. Okay, so we'll look around again. There's not much more to show you. We're getting there, we'll have a place to go to, so I ain't going to bother too much, to be honest with you. But on the whole, the site does actually work, and I've got internet to work on the live CD, but not on the install. This is why I'm doing it from the live CD. We've got Abbey Word, live CD, G Numeric, lovely, Calendar, lovely. Does that help? Yeah, a bit of help there as well. And a Terminal. So it all works flawlessly. I ain't got a problem with it. But maybe there needs to be a little bit of work just to transition it into a newer sort of pup, really, more than anything else. Something a bit more wireless done, etc, etc. But hey, we'll go from that from the second video, because this is just a really quick one to show you more than anything else. So when we get into the next video, we'll show how the install goes and what we come up against, more than anything else. But bear in mind, it is only a beta. We're still working it. Bear in mind, it's all done for free, you know what I mean? All done for free. You ain't got to pay for it if you download it, except for the 700 meg bit. A bit of a bummer that was. I wouldn't really like that. Anyway, if I click on install, once remember, because it's puppy, you get this come up. Now, the install process is completely automated and works really, really well. First time I've done it, it didn't work too well, but I've tried it several times since and it works fine. And it takes you to it. Grub's installed. Once you get to Grub, you also get EcoPup, and you also get Puppy 4.2.1 in the Grub menu. So you've got a choice of two distros in there, really. Not that I was a big fan of 4.2.1, personally. Right, Ethernet's connected here, as you can see. It's all lovely. And Calendar's down there. I'll open that one more time. We've already opened it, so we don't need to do it again, do we? Close him down. That's nice. Yeah. But on the whole, the rework of it is a lot better. I didn't like the XP look of the last EcoPup, to be honest, it wasn't my cup of tea. But hey, it's you, it's not me, is it really? So anyway, what we're going to do, I'm just going to give a quick look around now, just 
I'm just flashing through the bits on the menu and stuff, and we'll go from there. But what I'm going to do, we'll do a new video, and we'll go from there. But on the whole, it's pretty cool. Not too bad at all. Sneaky Linux out.